And so, here we are for the grand unboxing of the Roland F120 in white. Now, you've probably watched one or two unboxing videos before, so I'm sure you know how tedious it is to watch people actually opening the box. So, we're going to skip that bit and uh, I shall join you again in a moment with this box open. Here's my foot to get the perspective on the size of the box. And, um, and then we'll continue. Now the box is open. Here's a, a breakdown of all um, well, the bits which will go together to make a beautiful piano. So, now I've not seen this yet. This is live and real. Are you ready? Let's put the scissors down. Here we go. Ah, okay. It's, uh, not quite as um, dramatic as I'd hoped, but here's the manual, which I've read already, um, having sort of downloaded it. And uh, here's some other. This is actually the. This is actually the manual, isn't it? And this is um, sort of put it together type pamphlet. So um, there we just put that there, so I'm safe. Now what is this? Leads. Essential for the running of the device. Instrument. Here we are. There's a. Uh, Yes, that's the way you plug it in. Well, we get back to this. Hmm, yes, good, good. That must be for the pedal board and the power. We'll pop that somewhere safe. And then um, go back to our box. Okay, now. So, here we are, this is the actual um, keyboard, we'll just toss that away. Right, and this one, I'm doing nothing in there, is there? There we go. Right, now there's a special way that we put this together um, using the polystyrene sections so that it's in position when we put the sides on and the pedal board and the support bit that goes in the middle. I can't do that that task with um, with one hand and I can't do that task with one hand after being awake for three days. So I'm going to turn off and we'll come back on again when there's a, something really interesting to look at. Okay then. Now it's out of the box. And I know that you're just as excited as me. So what we have to do is go upstairs because the piano is not actually going to reside in this room. It's going to be in the studio upstairs. And um, that's where we're going to go. So I have to take it up bit by bit. And I'm sure you didn't want to watch or listen to me sweating and grunting as I hump it up these stairs. So uh, I skipped that bit. And this is some of the studio gear that I've had to stick in the toilet in, uh, whilst I sort all this out. And so here we are. The, uh, this is kind of how they tell you to begin. Um, so we've got the, the left and right boards, the side boards. And this is what you and I have been waiting for, boys and girls. This is actually the keyboard itself. Uh, Ivory Phil Progressive Hammer Action G keyboard by Roland. Um, See, so I went for the F120 because I wasn't really into the bells and whistles thing that you do get with other. Um, oh, what, what am I? <laughs> Look, I couldn't afford one of the other ones, right? This is one of the, the, the cheaper ones that I think had just as good action. Um, shares the same action as the uh, RD301 and the RD301R which are, you know, like 150, 
170 quid more and they're fantastic they've got lots of learning tools on and check them out you know they're bigger and which is another reason I went for this one and um, they have a lots lots of bells and whistles and um, I'm alright for bells and whistles so uh, I went for this one and they threw in a bench which I'll show you later on £79 it is online they gave it to me for 20 quid but uh, that's the volume and these are the various little buttons let's see key touch you hold that down and you use plus or minus to adjust your your parameters that's the same for all the different functions really it's got four grand pianos on it and um it's got 30 30 voices and all very simple display but anyway this is the unboxing section so where we can go into that stuff later um now you might hear a little yeah, that's just a bit of knocking going on. If you want to pay a few uh, hundred, you know, somewhere over the, like a, you know, another 500 quid, you can probably uh, reduce that. Or you can just wear your headphones on, have them cranked up loud, or put it through some mean hi-fi speakers like them. And then you won't hear the hammering, or just hear your notes. All right, so um, again, this this requires two hands. So I'm going to leave you for a while, and hopefully when we when we meet up again, um, I'll have something that looks a lot more like an upright piano. Okay, see you soon. So there it is. You put it in that position, and then you put the sides on. As you can see, these sides are matched to fit there, look. and. Uh, this is all the nuts and bolts and the little hook that the headphones fits on and um, there's a couple of supports which go on the bottom and uh, we're going to get cracking with that then so I'll join you soon boys and girls sides are on boys and girls a little bit out of focus here not quite sure why we are but let's rub that a little bit no we're out of focus anyway the sides are on yeah, then there's a bit that goes in the middle which we're about to put on now. So, here we go. The backboard is on. Now, to avoid scratching, I slipped um, a bit of this material packaging as I eased it into place and used CDs to prop it at the right height and everything so nothing was. Um, no screws were going in. At uh, a funny angle or anything like that and they have metal inserts into the boards so the screws screw into metal well done Roland okay so on with the pedal board you just try and contain your excitement because I am all right all right boys and girls the pedal board as you can see there's the pedals and uh, little supports um, which fit on there. Okay, let me just pop this down. So, right, so here are the pedals. Uh, they, uh, you'd have read all about them, the fact that they're, you know, they're um, progressive. Uh, so, to give you that additional control, uh, you can sort of note the fine quality chipboard that uh, Roland have splashed out on for our. Uh, durability and lots of years of playing so this is the cable it's going to come out and plug into the back of the main unit there almost there boys and girls well this is it this is it boys and girls it's all set up and I've got a white bench as well it's a rolling bench if you choose to get one of these pianos and you want this type of bench to go with it do a deal on it, don't pay, you know, 79 quid or whatever it is. You know, it's just a bench, it's a good bench, yeah, don't get me wrong. But uh, it's solid, you know, metal, and it, you know, it does the job. It doesn't adjust or anything, but it seems to be the right height for me. So yeah, get, get a deal on it, you know, go for 20 quid. And the pedal board, 
just dropped in dead easy and a couple of screws at the back and plugs in at the back got a couple of clamps to hold the wire on um, I haven't attached those yet because I'm not quite sure how to but it still works without them and I couldn't wait you know and um, that's it now if you want to go through like the functions of it all and how it sounds look it up on YouTube you know on another YouTube channel because there would be somebody there probably a beautiful girl playing much much better than I can and uh, some chat probably an American chat uh, describing it much more eloquently than I can and uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video and you watch other Customer of the Sea and Spurge music videos and uh, thank you for watching and do take care